Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Dance Man coming to you with the... What happens to be the final episode in the Klingon arc. And also the last episode of the Mel Bucking character. It's sad to say that I'm doing this because there just hasn't been many views on these videos. So I've not seen the actual, like, uh, standing on why I continue these videos. But suffice it to say, I'm doing this to for completionists. Uh, we are getting closer to the winter event, to the... Uh, Star Trek anniversary event, which is in less than seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven days from now, guys. Eleven days, and it'll be almost like 40 plus days for running. Now, I'm still skeptical on what this event is going to have, whether it's last year's stuff with the Krenim Science Vessel or if it's actually going to be Season 12 with the Lucari and the Zinkethi, I don't know. I wish I did. I wish they would actually tell us this stuff about consoles. And yes, folks, you're not seeing things. I did uh, cut my hair and I did shave my face. So I'm clean again. I'm back to normal. I've been told I'm ugly. I've been told I've been cute. I've been told, why did you do it? Well, it it's getting warmer where I'm at. So I needed to get rid of it. But as you can see, a lot of events going on. We've got the research and development going on right now. So that's helping my main character. Uh, let's see. Did I actually accept it? No, I did not. So I actually have to go in here. And it's called Temporal Ambassador. Now, to give you guys a little bit of a rundown on this, this mission here was actually uh, an event way back in the day on PC. We had this event. I think this was a year two event, I believe it was, or year three, when we got um, the actress... Denise Crosby reprised her role as Tasha Yar. And at the end of it, you got, uh, as you can see, the Enterprise C, which is an Ambassador class vessel. Now, I'm just going to start it. We detected an anomaly in the Azure Nebula because of the Tholian activity in that area. We're concerned that they may be attempting to open a rift to the Mirror Universe. I need a ship to go out there and check it out. Now the thing, yes, as you can see right there, you get a special uh, support cruiser, which is the Ambassador class. See, actually in the C store, in the PC version, you can buy it, or it was free. I mean, they, you also, with the Klingons, you get a special Kramog class uh, cruiser. And of course, yesterday's Enterprise uniform. Mostly that's good for uh, people who want to dress up in the mirror universe sense. So, shall we begin? First of all, I need to remember my commands here because I've been playing a little bit of Elite Dangerous and I'm sort of, I'm used to hitting X and left directional pad for my star map so uh, you have to give me a little bit of uh, credit here I'm trying to remember my setups but to give you guys an idea of what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be picking a different game to showcase before uh, Mass Effect Andromeda which I will be hopefully doing I will do a playthrough with Twitch you know going through that and I will also be playing the game myself so that way I'm able to continue now for those of you that 
need to understand, like I said, low views on YouTube about these videos. I'm very upset about that. So if you guys want me Destiny, uh, as much as I'd like to with, uh, <laughs> with the Iron Banner Pro Walker, as much as I'd like to, I, I can't. I, I, that's a different video tell you the truth that is a different video for a different day <laughs> i mean honestly we're all waiting for destiny 2 okay that's all we're gonna say we're waiting for destiny 2 okay let us begin the final episode of this arc and mel buckins last for now is temporal ambassador but folks, please put in the comments below in my YouTube channel if you want me to continue these or not. Because really, I don't care. Okay, uh, we're detec detecting... <laughs> yeah, I can't even speak. Devrel. Alright. And... There we go. Okay, it's not right bumper. Okay. See, I'm so used to Elite Dangerous right now, I forgot what my setups were. Full Impulse... Take us to the anomaly. And disappeared. Alright. Next anomaly. Okay, gone again. I swear, my ship's gonna get do donuts in the do donuts. Okay, D7. Okay, gone again. And now let's skip that hydrogen gas. And we see uh, Ambassador Class. And scans the anomaly. And lo and behold, here we go with the mission. What the? Screechy buggy people. Now, I will actually say this mission for the console is a bit buggy. I don't know if they fixed it, but if they did, awesome. If not, sucks to be them. Franklin Drake, Do we will words. Yes, your catch Thank sights you, here. The Tholian Assembly appreciates your loyalty. So many ship captains threw away their lives needlessly in the days after they annexed this area of space. It'll take a few hours to offload your cargo. Feel free to grab a hot meal in the commissary. I know that comforts can be hard to come by in this sector. I recommend the Plomeek soup. It almost tastes like something. Do you need anything else? I don't need to talk to you anymore. You've got an attitude. Alright, go get some food and... Funny how you don't get to keep the Volian Assembly is concerned for your welfare. <laughs> Thanks, Pro Walker. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay, uh first of all, I do like to comment though, you don't get to keep this outfit. I would love to have had this outfit as a thing in Star Trek Online. I mean, even the PC doesn't allow you to have this costume. And see see what I mean by buggy? It's like I'm walking on this thing and it likes to think that you're not. So, and it's wonky a bit. Wait, is that Duranium? Yes! I must not! I must! Uranium is very important, folks, when it comes to upgrading your R&D. So, it's very important. And... Okay, walk away. I'll just get my own food. I haven't seen you around here before, Captain. Oh, of course you haven't. I'm just here to... Now, like I said, we have... Got a minute to talk? I know. 
I asked around about you, and I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you this, but I need your help. You're not supposed to be here. None of us are. Not in this timeline, I mean. My ship, my crew. We were supposed to do something important. We went through an anomaly, moved through time, and everything changed. We tried to go back. I guess the battle with the Klingons disrupted the anomaly. Instead of getting back where we belong, we ended up here with the Tholians running everything. I'd never even seen a Tholian before. You have to help us set things right. You have to help us get back to our ship. Me and my crew. There are a little over a hundred of us here, scattered throughout the work camp. We're about 65 years ahead of where we should be, according to my map. We were fighting the Romulans. This was back in 2344. And the weapons discharges caused a temporal rift. We passed through, and because we weren't at Narendra to do what we were supposed to do, the timeline changed. We ended up in a timeline where the Federation and the Klingon Empire were at war. The Federation was losing, badly. We tried to go back to set things right. But then the Klingons found us and the Enterprise D. And there's someone here with us from that timeline. Her name is Tasha. I'll take you to her. Maybe she can help explain this. Okay, for those of you who don't know what's going on with this, there was an episode in Star Trek The Next Generation where the Enterprise C, like he just said, was under attack and they were brought into an alternate version of Starfleet where they were getting their butts handed to them. And then, of course, they tried to escape and at the end you saw they went through and everything went back to normal. Supposedly. And right now, they're here in this timeline. Now, the person who plays Castillo and the one who plays the person that he talked about, Tasha, they're all the original actors and actresses who did their voices and played in that episode. I can't think of the name of the episode, and quite frankly, I don't want to rack my brain on it. But it's not a bad episode. It's actually very cool. But Tasha Yar, folks... Also known as Empress Sila, also known as my thorn in my rear. We need your help. Of course you need my help. <laughs> I'm from Starfleet, and if I'm right, that's a name that should ring bells with you as well. In an alternate timeline from this one, the correct one, Starfleet is still alive and well, and you're a Starfleet officer too. When the Enterprise C moved ahead in time, it created an alternate timeline. One in which I was alive, but shouldn't have been. I left with the Enterprise to set things right. We thought we were returning to the Narendra system in 2344 to defend the Klingon colony there from a Romulan attack. We ended up in this nebula in 2409. The Tholians caught us before we could try again, and <sighs> you can guess the rest. We're going to try to restore the timeline. But to do so, we need the Enterprise C. It's still in the hangar here, and as soon as we get back to her, we'll find the temporal rift and get back to where and when we're supposed to be. To do that, we need your help. Okay, uh, temporal incursions, temporal anomalies. Computer, I need alcohol and I need mass quantities of it right now. I don't think I can deal with this. <laughs> Franklin Drake is already helping us. He managed to get an access key used to operate the systems in the hangar control room. We need you to get the code from Drake and use it to open the doors to the hangar control room. <sighs> I'd go myself, but we've already been here a week. The Tholians know we're trying to get back to the ship. They're watching us. But you're new. They won't... S of course, it's not as simple as getting the code and opening the door. The Tholians have guards on all critical areas. You'll need to slip past the guards and get into the maintenance tunnels. From there, it's a winding maze to the hangar control room, which can only be unlocked from the inside. Once you get in, you'll be able to open the doors. We'll be waiting there to help you free the Enterprise. Here, take this communicator. It's on a scrambled frequency the Tholians don't monitor, and it'll allow me to contact you while you're on the move. Maybe you can convince someone to cause a distraction. That might make slipping past the... Alright, so now I gotta make somebody fight the Tholians. Fight the bugs. But first I gotta go find Franklin Drake. 
which this could get quite ominous when trying to do it from a different angle. And yes, you're... There's Daton. What's Daton doing here? Oh yeah, and some of your crew is here too, if you notice. But they don't recognize you. Figures. Do you have a question? Take it. Here's a map too. You'll need it in the tunnels. I still don't know why I'm risking my neck for this. Don't expect any more help from me. The Federation fell before I was born. I shouldn't even... Do you need anything else? No, I don't need nothing else, Mr. Cranky Pants. Okay, now I just gotta convince somebody to fight. And honestly, it's... It's my favorite thing. RNG. RNG Jesus. Oh, please give me... I, I, I shouldn't even say who it's gonna be because I don't know who it's gonna be. But I pray to RNG Jesus all the time, especially in Destiny. Alright, uh, I know Selmec's not gonna do it. He's useless. Uh, Obasek, maybe. Sean, probably. I don't remember the Federation. Or Starfleet. The war was almost over before I was born. This is the... Yep. He'll help. Normally it's somebody else, but I always like Sean because he's fun. Don't pretend you can't hear me. This food isn't fit for dogs. Now run, 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 run. Go in, go in, go in. Before they see me. Okay, now there is an act. There are three accolades in this level. And I will try to get all of them. First of it is as soon as it comes back on screen. Look at the hand drawn map. Okay, first one is finding a uh, Tribble, the other one's finding a weapon crate, and the other one is completing the map. So, I'm going to try to complete the map first. You can try to do a... Okay, you hit a snag, yeah, 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 I'm busy. And to look at the map, you gotta look at it like this. And just here's the temporal treasure hunter. Hand drawn map again. Close off the methane gas. Oh, why do I want to close off the methane? I'm sure it's very nice. Alright, got that taken care of. Ah, I'm so used to Elite Dangerous. Maybe I should do a video on that. At any rate, lowering the ambient temperature to be what a human could survive, and oh look, they're dead. The spiders are dead. Okay, hand drum. Ah. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna need to probably backtrack. Nope, there's the third thing. He's dead, Jim. Alright, so I actually do gotta go back because you gotta get this little section underneath to do the complete map. So that actually is easily missable. See how wonky this level is? I mean, that's just how it is. 
and go down further and I think it was this tunnel and then this tunnel and there's the third one the wisest Tribble and there is pretty much the entirety of the map except for where you need to go to get into the control room. Oh, crud, I'm going backwards. See, this is where you could get stuck. Because even a veteran like me gets stuck. Alright, backwards, and it's actually this tunnel. Yep. And this will give you the accolade. Everyone remember where we parked. A little throwback to Star Trek IV, the voyage home. Now everybody, come in, come on. Everybody All major in. systems are still operational. Good. All we right, don't have so... much time. I know a few tricks to take that tractor beam system offline. We don't okay, have much Okay, give time. her tractor beams. I am here to assist. My first posting in Starfleet was to an ambassador class. Give Tanay the I am here to assist. What? power levels and give him. Together. What do you want me to do? I was the helm officer on the Enterprise. We need Give to him to docking clamps. And don't worry about failing that last part. You actually do it. So, here we go. Overriding security protocols. Oh, Pro Walker. Okay, what are my thoughts on Destiny 2? Well, honestly, that would be in another video, but I'll give you my thought, basic thoughts right now. Uh, I'm hoping that we can get a lot of good stuff. I mean, constant content is a biggie, especially whenever we're dealing with the lack of, like, right now that we're dealing with. I mean, without events like Crimson Doubles. I mean, yes, we have freaking Iron Banana, but I really think that's a waster unless you've been, you know, level 400. Uh, I'm also hoping for character transfers. I would hate to think that Bungie would actually allow it to where we can't give our hard work that we've given throughout the whole three years. And I'm sure you would agree that three years worth of work down the tube is bullshit. Especially when you're talking about like, flat out um, when we've done all the raids, gotten all the best weapons. I mean, it's just stupid if they would throw it all out. So, oh, we got everything unlocked? Okay. Run, 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 run. Of course, my other thing is more story. Let's finish what we started. I'm, we need to know more about the traveler, more about the mysterious woman that we met on Venus who said she has no time to explain with things she has no time to explain. I mean, that kind of thing. Mel B! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Money rate, uh. We're downing these doors. Normally they're speaking here, folks, but for some reason the console has never picked them up. Which is kind of upsetting, because PC can do it. 
At any rate, uh, lowering the last force field. And coming up is where it actually does get wonky when it comes to the level. And here we go. Oh, Captain Lead, you play the PC version. Well, so do I. I've actually wish they would put the uh, what's on the PC on the console, and I'm sure you would agree. Because honestly, I, my biggest failing on this game as a whole is that I don't have access to my account from the PC. I have found I have tons of ships unlocked costumes, you know, all kinds of stuff, and I hate the fact that I can't access it. Cryptic does need to get their head out of their ass about it. Okay, first of all, before I even begin, I need to do some power setting here. Okay, auto toggle, auto toggle, and that is mine. And auto toggle, and nope, okay, let's see, keep that as an auto power. Auto toggle at freaking 25. Power to shields when they're 50. Reverse shield polarity when it's down 50%. This is the only good thing about this version is that you can preset your. Oh, you went through Steam. Well, I usually do. Uh. Let's see, I usually, I had the original game when it came out, so I used the, uh, what is it, the, just the basic. I don't, I don't have to use it with Steam or Arc. Honestly, though, I think it would be better if it was. Yeah, Arc was pretty bad. But to be honest, I mean, I think that this game would be better if it had the everything from the PC and here we go kill them kill them kill them what I wouldn't give for freaking uh, torpedo spread three right about now right can't bleed <laughs> warp spread three with fire will <laughs> all right come on fire everybody come on Fire phases. Firing phases. Come on. Fire. I know it is, and that's kind of upsetting that the content is less. I mean, I really would like to have had the PC content on here. And up oh, here comes Captain Walker. I so want that ship. I have been begging for that ship for years. But I can never get it. Oh, my inventory's full. Ah, stock. Okay, come on. Loop around, loop around, loop around. Come one, one, three, mark two. Come on. And surprisingly, the way is clear, and the temporal anomaly has been stabilized. Head for the. That's my job. Yeah, what is Cryptic thinking? I mean, quite honestly, Cryptic has really let its people down on the console because, first of all, we've wanted the same stuff as the PC. It's not that difficult. Wait a minute. Are you... Is everyone seeing this? Look at this. Look at this. See this for yourself. That is perfect. 100% guarantee that we are getting the freaking um, 
agents of yesterday. I mean, look, that hypo spray is 100%. I mean, let me reduce this real quick. This hypo spray picture is the same one that you see on the 23C, which is the agents of yesterday. So it is in the console. It's just blocked by a certain freaking little thing, which I don't understand. They really should put agents of yesterday on right now because there's proof right here. This hypo spray is agents of yesterday art. 100%. And it, it really is. And even Captain Lead here would understand by seeing that himself that that is 23C. So why don't we have 23C stuff? I'm quite upset about that. All right, pre-fire chamber, junk. Okay, off to the portal. And that actually didn't go wonky buggy like I thought it did. I think they fixed it. Which is kind of upsetting. Yes. I was I'm sad sure you've too. By now. You're part of a very different it, timeline. Although when I played it, Captain Lead, I uh, played it on day one, it would be irresponsible and it was double XP. So by the time I reached level ten, I was on the well. third or fourth mission of the Agents of Yesterday, right before the Battle of Caleb Four. So it's like I was like we'll this, you, you know, easy. But there are still some I honestly hope they the put it on soon because the be event is of. coming up for the console. And I already know it's season twelve. As soon 12. as the Enterprise C returns to its correct place in history, the timeline should write itself. It's season twelve for the uh, PC, but for the console, I don't know if we're getting season twelve. Yeah, I know it's double XP at the moment on PC. Honestly, I don't need it. I got like ten or fifteen characters that are like high levels. I don't need it. So really, I don't. The only thing I do want on there is to just do the old missions I missed, because some of them I do miss. Some I wish I did have on here. Alright, we are done with the Temporal there Ambassador. There wasn't anything there. That's strange. And there we go. Level 29. And lo and behold, here comes my favorite freaking mission quest line of all time, which is just complete and utter crap, the Nimbus series. I hate the Nimbus series because it's nothing but, really, you could get Nimbus 3 done in less than two hours if you push it. Just skip all the dialogue and push it. Now, as I was stating before, let me just get these in place. Uh, no, not yet. Wait, did I just see that? Yes, this is another thing Cryptic needs to fix. When playing certain missions in the... Um, on the console, you have this ability of losing all of your traits. Which I kind of hate. Because I have to remember what I had. And if you're like me who had like... Uh, what is it? A high ended character level 60, and you needed to put everything back on, like hard. You know, try to remember everything. It's a pain in the butt. But at any rate, as I said before, we're in on the console on the research and development weekend, which to the PC players is like, yay. 
Especially since last week we had dilithium. So you have dilithium and then you have research where you're going to burn it. And then we have the anniversary. Now, I did read that they are bringing in the uh, Omega stuff again. Yes, yes, I, I agree with you on that, Captain, because I've had that problem too, but that's been mostly on my Romulan characters. Um, but at any rate, uh, like I said, the... Uh, where is it? Can I see it here? Yes, I can. In the event coming up, we get this wonderful mess of garbage which if you don't know how to do it you're SOL see you have to collect omega molecules and that after so much you get this silver version and then so many with the silver version you gotta do the rare version and then so many with the rare version you get the very rare version and then you have to compile a lot of stuff to get this the omega yes here it is actually they have it on here you need like one of each particle to make one silver okay i'm just going to give this as a quick rundown before the event begins one of each to make one silver now to make one rare you gotta have three silvers three silvers to make one of these and then after you make one of those you gotta make three of those so really wait yeah three of those so this is three silver to make one of these and you need three of these. Now, that's... Okay. Uh, <laughs> to make three of them, you need three of these. So, three, six, nine. Nine. I almost need paper. Nine. Nine times three is twenty-seven. So you need twenty-seven of these to make those three. Twenty-seven of those to make three of the to make the three of these to make one to make the one. <laughs> okay I had these all written down I forget where I put my paper <laughs> to make one of those so 27 on the first then it gets chopped down to three and then to make these you gotta make three of these so yes uh, three of those so three of these so three of these. So you got to make about 27 more. So technically you need... <laughs> you know what? I'll just flat out say this. This thing here is absolute pathetic garbage. You could find better things to do than grind for this, to be quite honest. Because honestly, I did do this on my main character last year, and quite frankly, I didn't even use it. I just put it on Tribble, and the test server, and just seen how many it took to get one item on my ship to, like, tier 14 epic. And it didn't even touch it. <laughs> so, forget that. I'm not even gonna bother you know, with that. But at any rate, um, damn. <laughs> but at any rate, uh, suffice it to say, I mean, it's 
not a bad, it's not going to be bad. I'm hoping for better. Uh, I'm switching my character over to my main just because of the fact he has some, I think I'm due for some upgrading. So let's see. Not yet. Two more hours. Ugh. You see, right here they are again. Love it. Love it. But yes, uh, like I said, it's good to have your skills locked in. Know what they are. I haven't done much on here just because. Ah, uh, wait, go back. That's right, I forgot to do the, uh, I forgot to do my one thing. And yes, I am loaded down with everything I need. I forgot to put these in the vault. <sighs> but at any rate, um, of course, my ship. I want the T six Oddies. I miss them, like very much so, I miss it. I really do, miss my T6 Odysseys, like bad. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do? Oh yeah, one thing I do want to talk about, this. It seems that the achievement is still blocked. Don't know why. Everything is done. But for some reason, it doesn't recognize it. This is done. But there's a lot more to this because it's locked behind agents of yesterday which is kind of upsetting now dilithium exchange what are ooh ooh 173 on the dill market See, people are buying it up. Hmm. Is there anything worthwhile I want? I could just wait. But that's actually the lowest I've ever seen the Zen market. You know what? I can't leave that the way it is. I have to level her up to one more. Uh... I gotta level up one more time. 
I can't just leave it as it is. So, let's see what I can fly out here. In PVE, which is a lot. Nope. Not available because nobody's playing it. Well, let's see if there's anything around, like an alert. The barbarians! Yes! Nine times four would be 36. Okay, I guess my math is wrong. Well, like I said, I really don't... Probably not gonna do that with the Omega stuff. I mean, until I can get a guide up. And... By the time I get there, it'll be over. And no, I don't have freaking... Uh, Quantum slip space. That's a level 50. Let's get my skills in. I'm dying for these. I can access captain stuff. <sighs> Sean mode. The Memenda. The Infinity. The Rampart. All these different ship names. Oh, there's one only so far away. Oh, it's a deep space encounter. Leave my stuff alone. <laughs> I'm not touching your stuff. <laughs> Until Za. Anybody knows where that came from? No. I think that was a reference on Babylon 5, I believe. But, um, yeah, I just feel that this version on the console could be a lot better if they put what's on the PC on here. I mean, just alone, the content would be number one. But like I said, it's there. It's just nobody is seeing it. This hypo spray is a 23C hypo spray art. The game has it. It's just that for some reason, the game doesn't want to recognize that it's in there. And that's the kind of downside that, you know, and yes, I understand I am blowing away the um, hypo sprays, but really, I don't need them. Do I do need the banana pancakes? Yeah, maybe not so much, but I don't mind having them in inventory. And yep, like I said, by the time I got there, it's gone. So, off to the top one. I really don't want to leave this character on level 29 and that little itty bitty sliv, you know, to end a series. I mean, that's just kind of rude of me to do that because the Mel B character was created to do these playthroughs. And I do have a YouTube channel where I do have all these playthroughs on one list, including some of my old stuff. It's on youtube.com backslash danceman McGee. And that's D A N C E M A N M C G H E E. And the McGee and Danceman are separate. So please subscribe to my channel. You'll see the daily vid, you'll see the videos I have. I just got done doing a rant video about the new Power Rangers movie, which is on there. It actually went high for what I thought it was. Um, of course, all my Star Trek Online videos are here on that channel. 
I do stream every Sunday at eight at nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Don't ask me what it is any other time because it's either three hours behind me or it's five hours ahead of me. For those of my friends who live in uh, Scotland, hi guys, how you doing? <laughs> Shout out to yous. But any rate, uh, watch I get to this one. Yep, I got to it and it's gone. See. I'm not going to be able to do this unless I do the Nimbus playthrough. And I guess I'm going to have to do some of the Nimbus. <sighs> I hate this arc because it is so dull and boring. But I guess I'm going to have to. It's mostly a filler for what is in the game. It used to not be in the game. It used to be, uh, what was it? It used to be not in it. And then around year four, they put it in because they wanted more stuff. And that's why they changed the Romulan mystery around a lot. Except for these couple episodes right here, six through 11, all stayed the same. And then we had a change in the Cardassian struggle where they changed those missions up, which thank God they did because some of them were just lack of boring, like that one, Rapier. If anybody who played PC remembered Rapier, you actually flew through the wormhole and you had to save the one ship and you were like trying to tight turn even in a ship that was fast turning. But at any rate, I... In world, a shadow of great evil lurks, waiting for the chance to strike. The truth behind the destruction of the Romulus system may be the harbinger of the greatest threat the Federation has ever faced. Thank you, Leonard Nimoy. Shout out. Shout out. Although, quite honestly, I'm very still saddened that he's gone, but... Definitely shout out to him for putting in the voice acting in this game for some of the characters, including his own. Uh, it's unfortunate we didn't get the voice acting, I think, from him with Agents of Yesterday, which I kind of found upsetting, but it is what it is. Um, well, I guess I'm going to be doing some Nimbus, even though I wasn't planning on it. I guess I will do some Nimbus. Now, the whole thing about this, like I said, it was a filler. It filled in some holes just for nostalgia for us to land on the Nimbus planet. And there's already a Galaxy class here, right? What are you? You're a 31. Oh, well. Beam to Nimbus. And yes, this is my standard away team, as always. Two tactical, but I have three, which includes myself. I'd like to actually change the skill set on my science, but it's hard to find Nanite Monitor 3 without having fun. Okay, off to Nimbus 3, the planet of intergalactic peace. Now, this level is always occupied by the level 30s and above. Because, first of all, it's a breeding ground. I mean, you hear the shots out here? I mean, look at this. You see all these people out here just shooting the scorpions. Depending on the time of day that you are, there's a lot of people here. Okay, Horace Jones, we will speak. Secrets of Nimbus, okay, everything is wonderful. If you need it, I've got it. 
I'm sure you do. Okay, off to it. We're going to talk to two of eight. And we get ourselves a common quality duty officer. You don't have Tylenol or earplugs, so you don't have what I want. Okay. So, we're going to the bar. Like, that never ends right. Now, there is an accolade to do the entire city. I have never done that even on the PC. Because, first of all, jumping is broken. my opinion. Now, there is another accolade here. There is another accolade here which everybody f forgot about, but then knew about. That's not it. It's this one here. Everybody seems to have forgotten about this one, because honestly, it's not even worth it. But for those who want to do it... Uh, let's see. Chat bar. Menu. Emotes. Where is it? Ah, there it is. The illustrious fan dance. Where you dance like Uhura in Star Trek V The Final Frontier. Now, that in itself... <laughs> that in itself is this, folks. Face palm. And a double face palm. So, to get it, you actually have to talk to this guy right here, the dance board. Up for a dance competition. You, gonna spend your winnings? you do it four time. You must do four dances in a row to win. Do it four times to unlock the fan dance. Now you gotta do that four days. Four times. As in, you can't do all four in one day, which a lot of people would like to do just to get out of the way. Now... The fun part is, is I've not done it on the console. So really, the hard part for me is going to be... Chat, menu, emotes. Do the robot. Do the snake. Okay, I can already say one thing about this, and that's the fact that the timer does need to be upgraded from what it was to what it was, to a little bit higher. Now, our favorite dance move, everybody, the snake. And talk to the dance coordinator, and that's one down. I'll be with you shortly, Admiral. Right now, I'm... Right. Uh... Okay, well, first of all, I'm gonna say I'm actually now a level 30 captain, which technically I could go to my ship Go back to Earth, get the new costume set up, and do it from there. But I've already started this Nimbus episode, so I will finish it. So we talk to... I don't want any trouble. Alright, go to the desert. Why does everything go to the desert? You want me to comb the desert? I, okay, I will comb the desert. Anybody got a giant comb? If you know where that's from, 
please put it in the comments below. And if you don't know where it's from, you are not, like, educated in movie lore. <laughs> or very good at doing movies. Alright, so we've got Steve! Steve! With a sword. Tavrell. Okay, now this is where it gets complex, where I have to get kills. Pick up the stuff. Come on, die. Die. Bad Scorpion. I'm going to pick this up before somebody takes it and I don't get it. I've already killed 10 scorpions. Damn crew, you're good. And if you actually farm this part of the level, you can get all kinds of dumpster bait. As I call it. I mean, look, Mark V stuff. No bad scorpion, bad. Back up, back up, back up. And I need one more remain, and it's over there. Awesome. And five more scorpions. Five more scorpions won't be hard. And let's see. Now I gotta get the five more scorpions and groups of people down. This is where it does get a little buggy. It doesn't give you the option right away. And on top of that, usually there's people already jumping on top of it. Come on, die, 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 die. Beam them to sick bay. Sorry guys, I got here first, they're mine. Confront two of eight. Oh, yes I will. I could beam to it, but that's kind of a moot point. But yes, after since this leveling is the way it is, I mean, I'm playing on level 26. So technically by me having captain level gear, I'm actually at that level. 26 or 28. It's just the way it is. Hey, you got stealth modules? I want. Anyway, right, we see two of eight. Tell them we found all kinds of battle stuff outside. Speak to law. Law. Go to law's house. Law. I'm not going to get into it. If anybody watches Nostalgia Craig, they know what I'm talking about. Judge Dredd. The old one. Where nobody can say law. People who stand up just get knocked down. Of course they do. And where do I find these theater on things? Okay, we are going... Back out to the desert. But like I said, there's accolades for jumping on Nimbus Cities. But honestly, it is a pain in the old rear because, like I said, jump doesn't always function like it should. Because if you hold it too long, that happens. So, boingy, 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 boingy. And if you know where that reference came from, that's even better. At any rate, we're doing good right now. Um, 
I'm thinking maybe I'll just finish up Nimbus. And then we'll see what happens from that after I, you know, see what I think of doing. I do want to get Andromeda started once I get it. May I even do some Elite Dangerous. Maybe go back on Destiny for a little bit just for fun. Okay. We got these... Aquila Worm. Worms are two percent. Worms are two percent. There is actually a worm queen that will show up if she's not already here. you get her shown up, you hit it. How can he hit me from that far away? And we have the freaking Alachi lockboxes. I want the Terran ones back. I mean the ones from the Kelvin universe. Because I want a T6. Heavy Cruiser. I want Miss Ample Nacelle's 2268 or whatever it's called. Come on, fall over. Fifty percent done. Why isn't he dying? He's aggroed. And notice I've not hit a single console so far. First of all, there's other people here. Why am I moving slow? It ain't right. There is a console right about here. That should bump me up above 62, maybe into the 70s. Yep, 70 on the mark. Like I said, this level, your inventory will fill up quick. Ninety-five. And I just need about one or two more wormies the Sultan of stun I do like how these accolades are named because some of them are funny all right we got everything we need now we just need to go back to the bar First of all, I'm not going to walk all that way. That is one heck of a far walk. Wait, what's this? Yo, I don't remember.
remember this. Since when did they put this in? I've never known there to be a transporter. Yo! I've known the beam back ability to Paradise City, but I never knew there was a beam in to the different locations. Yo! I, I need a guide now. I need a guide to... I... What? How? Yo, where is it on the map? Yeah, Ginger Nuts, that's that's new. I've never seen that. Now, now I gotta find that transporter. I gotta find it. I mean, that's way new. I'll check that out on the PC. Yeah, this is the console. Okay, that should be a 10. And the third one should be 15. Unlock the message. Complete. Okay, so. Return to Horace Jones. Now. Okay, he's going to automatically already do me in. Okay, blind men tell no tales. Okay, awesome. Thank you. And there it is. Here's the first one, folks. I, I got to do a guide. I'm going to have to do a video guide on these because I, 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 I never seen these before. These were never in the PC as far as I recall. After playing this for so many years, I've never known of these transporters. What would even be the point of having these unless you're... Is there an accolade for this? Yes, there is. It's called Nimbus Jaunt. PC players, you might want to check this out. I mean, this is possibly a new accolade that you guys could all get. I'm going to have to do a guide on this on the on my one character, on Tori, because this... I've never knew this was in there. PC players, I, I know we've never seen this before, or if it is, we've never seen it, but... This is lazy. After this level, why? after doing all these missions, why would you even want to come back to this? To be honest. Hey, hands off the hologram. People are lazy, don't want to run, run around on Nimbus. Well, obviously, but you have to get those transporters to get there. And uh, honestly, I mean, that's why I hate this level because there's so much. I mean, this mission set is just six levels. That's six levels too many. I could see there being four, not six. And then we get into, uh, I forgot. Then we get into the good stuff, the meat of the game. The new Romulus, yeah, I do like that, but like I said, this is new as well to me, is the new Romulus stuff. This wasn't in the game before, you know, I mean, most of it was do the stuff for this, the Romulan mystery, and then we went from Borg to Solene. New Romulus was just added, it was put in the console version first, and then it was slated over to PC. Which is where a lot of people are like, oh, I got to do this all over again. Or whatever. What? Okay, whatever. And then Delta Quadrant is probably my least favorite because of how long it takes. It's like 29 levels. That's a long time. That's 29 weeks of me doing it once a week with my main character 
with my character, it'd be 29 weeks. Which is basically half a year. Almost. Because there's four weekends in a month. It, I mean, that'd be like an entire half a year just doing Delta Quadrant. Where I'd have to compile them into like big onslaughts. But still, okay, that does it for Miss Mel B. And she is now a captain. Uh, for those of you who liked what you saw, please comment on my YouTube channel. Dance Man McGee, I have all my videos up there. Comment there, tell me you want me to continue this series. Because I honestly do, but the way that my uh, videos get low reviews on the YouTube channel, I them. I may just continue them and say forget it with the uh, putting it on YouTube. But then again, I may just keep doing it. I don't know. Uh, but for right now, I'm just going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys next Sunday, whether I play this or of a different game. But hopefully it's this. I get people to respond to this saying they want me to keep doing it. I'd like to do the PC, but unfortunately... Unfortunately, I do it on the PC, my computer crashes. <laughs> I have a, an old computer that can barely even run the game. But until next time, I will see you guys. And Captain Bucken will be... Hopefully, she'll get a new ship, and everything will be cool. So, I will see you guys next time, and peace.